So recently, as most of you already know, Nintendo has announced two new Pokemon games today in their Pokemon Direct. Basically, the Pokemon Direct went through a rundown from the first generation all the way to a teaser of the seventh generation, which are confirmed as Pokemon Sun and Moon. The Direct didn't give us any gameplay of the two new titles, but we did receive a few screenshots and an estimated launch date during this year's holiday season. So right now, we're just going to take a quick look at the screenshots and analyze them. So the first one over here is probably the hardest to make out. Uh, we can see concept art of what I believe are interior buildings, and to be honest, it looks like some type of booth that would place in a Pokemon Center. It's really hard to make out what this would be, so we're just going to move on to the next one. Alright, so as we can see here, we have new concept art for the Pokemon Centers. So I find this really interesting because uh, these will be the first Pokemon games to have Pokemon Centers maintain a dome-like feature. Uh, what could this mean? Perhaps they will add more floors, or the Poke Center will introduce some new mechanics. Personally, I think this looks like the gyms from the anime, but that's just me. Alright, anyway, on to the next one. Okay, this right here has to be my favorite because I think Nintendo is going to add some type of new transportation to traverse across this region. You know, ever since Generation 1, we've always had to use bikes, and in Generation 6, uh, roller skates were introduced, so maybe they're going for something new here again, who knows. Now on the left here, it looks like Blastoise, I think that's Blastoise, yeah, Blastoise is getting ready to take out a fire or something. Um, perhaps this is a climax during the story or some sort of minigame. Uh, there's not really too much we can make out from that right now, so yeah. But I think it's symbolizing the purpose of Pokemon and people working together that Nintendo always tries to uh, bring the message of. Finally, the uh, artwork below uh, showcasing what is, yeah, the ambulance. Um, I think this could have something to do with how the Pokemon Center has changed. Um, perhaps there'll be some sort of new mechanic where the Pokemon Center comes to you and heals your Pokemon. Alright, so in this screenshot we can see what it looks like to be some sort of town or city in this new region. You know, I find it interesting because the first four regions, uh, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh, were based off Japan, and a little bit of uh, the fifth region, Unova, was based off the US, and the last region, Kalos was, Kalos, was based off France, so it's interesting what culture this region will take inspiration from. Anyway, we see a cedar statue on the fountain, perhaps leading to this building being water, uh, a water gym maybe? Oh, and there's actually a water type Pokemon on the building. From the left to the right, we have Wilmer, uh, Staryu, and Lantern, I think. Yeah, Lantern. So who knows, maybe this is a water type gym. Anyway, we have a trainer talking to another NPC. It's funny because this trainer looks like red, but I think that's all the rest of the screenshot, guys. And please, guys, let me know what you guys can find out if there's something in this video I did not present. Alright, and last but not least, we can see programming of a new Pokemon. So, we have a look at what seems to be some sort of flying type, I'm gonna assume. Who knows, maybe it's a secondary type. Um, we can't really tell. I don't really know why, but I feel like this Pokemon looks like Skarmory, at least its body, but the wings look like Tropius, so who knows, maybe Pokemon Fusion could actually be a possibility, I don't know, that sounds too far-fetched for now, maybe it's Mega Evolution or a new evolution overall. I don't know, but it's nice to see, uh, or to get a look at a sneak peek at a 7th gen Pokemon, even though we haven't seen the starters, and I really hope the new starters, at least a fire type, um, isn't, uh, a secondary fighting type because we've already received too many fire fighting types but the last one was sidekick and fire but anyway so that's pretty much it guys for the screenshots um aside from that they also did confirm that the game will be adding traditional and simplified chinese so that's interesting uh, yeah all right guys so that's it for the analysis breakdown let me know what you guys can find about pokemon moon and sun and if you find anything interesting about the screenshots honestly i think soul rock and uh Luna rock and maybe even deoxys might actually have a role in this game Hopefully we get more gameplay about this region, the new starters, new mechanics, and just way more information this upcoming E3 or whatever. We'll just have to see. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are excited for about Pokemon Moon and Sun, whether it be the new region, uh, the new Pokemon, new mechanics, uh, new Wi-Fi mechanics, hopefully. Maybe uh, they can actually change the GTS because I'm tired of people asking for a level 1 Zekrom. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care now, guys. Have a good day.